Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Jesus with Abundant Life Homestead, where every weekday we follow the Connections Bible Study. The Connections Bible Study follows the Revised Common Lectionary, and today is Thursday, July 13th, and today's reading is a psalm, which is... We were reading Psalm 119, verses 105 through 112. And the way we do this, as we read through, we jot down notes on just what jumps out at us from the verses today. And we ask that you do the same, you know, whatever you're going through in life, how that, how that verse affects you today, what, what's the most important thing you see out of the verse. And the beauty of this kind of study, when we all come together, we get a diversity of ideas that just really helps us all grasp the verses we're reading for that day. And we're not taking a deep theological dive, so nobody really has a wrong answer to it. It's just how is it hitting you today and seeing how it's hitting other people differently today. And while you're at it, if you would like to jot down, put your notes and insights in the comment section, we'd appreciate it. And read what others put in. That would be great for that help you out. And also, if you have any prayer requests you'd like for us to address, put those in the comment section and they will not be ignored. Now, this is a point where we typically add context to the reading, but um, psalms are a little different. There's a lot of unknowns with the psalms. Uh, this one is believed to be of, to have been written by uh, King David, but when it's unknown and um what he was going through at that time is also unknown yeah, pr pretty much all scholars agree that david wrote it there's some discussion and disagreement on when he wrote it but uh, i think that when he wrote it isn't even really that important and the only importance it would have would be um what he was going through right then yeah if we knew when we could kind of figure out what specifically was happening in his kingdom and, and even still it might not even make a difference yeah yeah but for for what we're reading today i don't think it would so i'm going to start the reading today and i'm reading out of the revised standard version starting with verse 105 Thy word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. I have sworn an oath and confirmed, and confirmed it, to observe thy righteous ordinances. I am sorely afflicted. Give me life, O Lord, according to thy word. Accept my offerings of praise, O Lord, and teach me thy ordinances. I hold my life in my hand continually, but I do not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but I do not stray, stray away from thy precepts. Thy testimonies are my heritage forever, yea, they are the joy of my heart. I incline my heart to perform thy statutes forever to the end. Okay, this is... <laughs> um, this week, I'm going to read the Passion Translation. It um, is a little bit more long-winded, but um, I really like um, what it says this week. <clears throat> um, it's actually got a subset. Does, did yours have a subset? A title? It, just, it was none. Okay. Like N-U-N, none. Okay. Mine says, uh, Truth's Shining Light. Truth's Shining Light guides me in my choices <clears throat> and decisions. The revelation of your word makes my pathway clear. To live my life by your righteous rules has been my holy and lifelong commitment. I'm bruised and broken overwhelmed by it all breathe life into me again by your living word lord receive my grateful thanks and teach me more of how to please you even though my life hangs in the balance i'll keep following what you've taught me no matter what the ungodly have done their best to throw me off track but i'll not deviate from what you've told me to do everything you speak to me is like joyous treasure filling my life with gladness I have determined in my heart to obey whatever you say, fully and forever. Okay. I told you it's my long one. <laughs> but quite a, quite a bit actually. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. that's 
Sometimes that's why I don't like the passion translation, but there's so much feeling in these words. You can get the feeling of what um, the others. And the feeling that the author is trying to convey. Yes. To express. I have not had my full cup of coffee. <laughs> Wake up earlier and you get more coffee. <laughs> so, um, coming out of this, I, I got two real main points and the first one it, it deals with the the word being a lamp to my feet light to my path you know without god's word or being in the flesh we can wander through life we can get there but with god's word or being in the spirit we can see and understand what we're stepping into the word is a light it's not darkness it's not in in encased in shadow which makes it you know at the base level easy to understand for even even early christians yeah you can get deep 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 into theology and in, in, in parts of the bible but as a whole it's easy to understand it is light there, there's no shadow over the bible which um just give me a different thought because there's so many times we hear um, bringing light to the situation mm -hmm. and um, that's always the way with God's Word when you're struggling with something if you bring it out bring it into the light darkness no longer has its power over it and it's no matter how bad it is suddenly it's not quite as bad yeah not saying that it makes it easy but it takes the control away and it may still be difficult but the dark, it isn't hidden anymore, and you don't have that additional burden. That was just a side note that when you were saying that, um, yeah. I use different words, but same thing. God's word is our guide through life, it guides us. Okay. And the, the, something you'll see is that this week's connection is becoming very easy because we're. <laughs> We're hitting this in the flesh versus in the spirit That's every day, my next point. <laughs> and you know, well, I, I even pulled that pulled that out through the the lamp and the light. But get into verse one hundred and seven, and then again in one hundred and nine, we see this flesh versus spirit theme mm -hmm. again. One hundred and seven, I am greatly afflicted. My my flesh is afflicted. Renew and revive me, giving me life, O Lord, according to your word. 107, here's the flesh nature. He's like, please renew my flesh nature. 108. Well, let me pause you there because the Passion Translation makes it completely even more. obvious. That okay, it's yeah, that, okay. Oh, yeah. I'm bruised and broken, overwhelmed by it all. Breathe life into me again by your living word. So what's it say for 108? Lord, receive my grateful thanks and teach me more of how to please you. Okay. And I, I go, I, I switched back to Amplified. I read in RSV <laughs> and we like using several versions. It, it really helps you get a grasp and perspective of what's going on. And accept and take pleasure in my free will offerings. Your offering is uh -huh. a spiritual thing. So 107 and 108 pair together as flesh Wait, and spirit. Keep going though. And teach, uh, and teach me offerings. your ordinances. No, free will offerings of, of my mouth. mouth. Yes, yes. So that's, that's something that isn't said very often, but what you say can be an offering to God. And, and well, you want to go clear up and start orbiting <laughs> Jupiter. The, the power of your words is a big theme of the Bible. If, if, if you read, you know, yeah. you've read through it several times, Absolutely. you know, confess with your mouth, confess with your mouth and open your Which mouth and your words. What and I was just with saying your mouth. Yes. with bring. What, what? Something that's in the darkness into the light, you do that with your mouth. Yes. God, God puts a lot of... Uh, and we didn't think we are going to have much to talk about. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then the same thing happens when you start in 109. My life, or my flesh, is continuously in my hand. Or the Amplified says, in danger. Yet I do not forget your law. Just mm -hmm. this week, where Jesus said, the law is of the flesh, you know. Mm -hmm. So we're getting right back to 109 and 110, flesh versus spirit. 110, the wicked, 
wicked is a spiritual thing. The ungodly. Have laid a snare for me, and I yet I do not wander from your precepts, your spiritual teachings. I'll not deviate from what you've told me. That's This is why I like the Passion Translation, because it brings the thoughts that you have, mm -hmm. and it just puts them right there in front of you. Go, I'll go. have to explain the Passion Translation. Sometime. Yeah, go, go back and read 107, because for Sunday's class, I want to take a couple notes out of that. I'm bruised and broken, overwhelmed by it all. You can just put TPT and look it up on your phone. Yeah, TPT. Okay. <clears throat> so yeah, and you know, we're we're going to be doing this Monday through Friday, but on Sundays at church we sit my 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 the class I attend is taught by Pastor Todd Brown and there's usually anywhere between 4 and 8 of us and we just sit down and discuss the in all of the Bible study from the previous week and you know, we 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 think we get a good perspective perspective just between the differences that we find, and then you get eight people in a room or live in a chat room while we're while we're filming, mm -hmm. and suddenly your perspective just goes, whoa, Bible. <laughs> <laughs> and I teach the young adults, which is a smaller class right now, but um, we only look at the very first gospel section. And even, even just that one section, you can see the different life experiences because they teach me that I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kind of are. You're older than me. <laughs> you always be. But they, and you know, they're younger and sometimes they, even still, they'll find something different than I did. And it's interesting how you get a group and you can learn more together. Yeah. And, and that's really why we ask, you know, what, what jumps out at you because mm -hmm. it's what you're going through that day. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I take it back a couple of months. I believe we were in uh, Psalm 111 maybe, and we're in class and everybody's getting all these different things out of the Psalm. But what jumped out at me was that the, uh, the women who preach the good word will be a great host. Because we were going through that thing where you you were kind of down. Pastor Kaufman, she was she got that letter just completely degrading her for being a minister. We had our son at school, his his classmates and his teachers telling him mommy couldn't be a minister. So what I was going through life at that moment was completely different from what the rest of the class was going through. But so that jumped out at me mm -hmm. and, you know, and I, so I started talking and writing about it and, and you know, like a great host is 10 to a hundred thousand, depending on where you look, that's not one or two even, mm -hmm. that's a whole lot of women are going to be preaching the good news. So, you know, the, the, these people who put it down are taking these one little verses addressed mm -hmm. to one specific person. So then I, I, and you know, I wrote all that down and gave it to, a, put it on a piece, or a piece of notebook paper, ripped it out and gave it to Caleb so that he could, re, he would be reminded mm -hmm. when people were beating him down because his mother was a minister. Oh, hey, the Bible says that's, that's exactly what's going to happen. <laughs> You know, so and, and so that you know, mm -hmm. that's how the daily reading hits you where you are in your life right now, but hits somebody else completely different. Yeah, actually, last week was a perfect <clears throat> example because um, I was I was very much in Romans, but I did um, obviously I still looked at the others, and um, we actually had the youth join us in the young adults class. Which was fantastic because the conversations we had was great. But they just returned from camp. Mm. So they're already on a bit, they're a bit more in tune spiritually because they just spent the whole week being immersed in that. And the one, she comes off and she's like, well, I get the most, I, I get welcoming. And I'm like... I did not even get that <laughs> at all. And then as soon as she said it and the verse that she caught it with, I'm like, 
yeah yeah absolutely so it, it's just the back and forth that you get with this study is fantastic and the more people you get involved the better it is so this this coming week are any of the nyc students going to be in your class yes. oh <laughs> you're, you're gonna i, I want to be in your class this week <laughs> Yes, I am That's very good. much looking forward to this week. I, I, I love when the kids come home from camp or, you know, NYC's Nazarene Youth Conference. Mm -hmm. Nazarene. Like once every Youth four every years. Three. Three. They, they, it's three now. It was okay. every four, but they do it every three years. Yeah. It's like but it's, it's the whole nation and it's high energy, great speakers. I've never been... But this year it was actually online and I didn't realize that until the last night. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't see any of it. But the kids have been had been talking with their parents through the whole thing and they were the excitement. They come, come was, back on fire. Yeah. So I'm <clears throat> definitely looking forward to hearing all about NYC. We might not be talking much about Matthew this week. <laughs> <laughs> but um back to psalm um i also got the spirit of the sin nature and spiritual nature um but i also got striving to follow god's way because we know that's the best way the only way and uh, god's way is perfect we fall short but we still pick up the pieces and follow him every day it's a choice kind of puts us right back where we were studying Romans 7 and Romans 8. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, like you said this week. Uh, yeah. We we well, strive to follow. We know what's right. We strive to follow. We fall short. And only Jesus, only God can make that difference to pull us out of that falling right. short. Smack us over the head. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes, yeah. Well, and, and when you get a week like this in the verses, it's like, hey, psh, it, yeah. it's smacking you right in the face. It's Definitely. like, pay attention because this... It's we're hitting it every day in all these different areas of the Bible. It's important. They might as well just put at the top of this one those who have <laughs> yeah. ears to hear. <laughs> those who have ears, let them hear. Listen. Okay. All right. So, so. We're about eighteen minutes in now. I, With all of our squirrel I, moments, do, I think do, that's pretty. Good. Any anything you need else you need to tie up on today's verses? I don't, it was, like I said, going in, I didn't think there would be much discussion yeah. on this because it's so straightforward. I, I, I read it, I think, I, I read it King James Version, and then I read it New International Version, and it's like, okay, where am I going to go with this? And then I read it RSV, and then I read it Amplified, and then I'm just sitting there with a blank piece of paper, and it's like, oh, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, and then... Um, like this morning, I, I knew what I wanted to talk about. And then this morning, I read it in the Passion Translation. I'm like, oh, wow. Yeah, you changed yeah. on me last minute. <laughs> I'd planned on reading Amplified for the video. But um, uh, one thing, so often we hear um, a heart like David's. Mm -hmm. Striving to have a heart like David. And this reading, I think, is a great example of that. Because David knew that... He'd made mistakes. I'm going to assume that this was written after the whole situation. <laughs> but, I mean, it couldn't be. I mean, yeah. it, there's a possible that it, it could have been before. But he knows that he falls short. But he also knows that God's bigger. And that you have to keep, you have to keep trying. Even when you mess up, you keep going. Why are you laughing at me? <laughs> Just, sorry. When you said God's bigger, that's oh, but God is. <laughs> is bigger than the boogeyman. <laughs> I know. God is bigger than the boogeyman. <laughs> okay. We should probably right. wrap this up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's your turn. Ah, yes. Uh, if Don't read that, but just roll with it. <laughs> so feel free to comment um even if you're watching after the recording and um so if you're watching on demand i think that's going to connect so weird. Okay. but we're old I, yes we're old and these words don't make <laughs> sense to me if you're watching on demand if you're watching on demand which used to mean like pay-per-view 
but <laughs> if you're watching on demand, feel free to comment with your thoughts um, on this section or anything else for that matter that you want to share with us and any prayer requests that you might have. Ah, and if you have a prayer request or anything else you would like to talk about that you don't want to leave in the comments, feel free to shoot us an email at ministry.alh at gmail.com, which is really hard to read backwards. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, let us pray. Father, we thank you for your words and wisdom and just giving us the insight in the section and just giving us a guide through life. We ask that you help guide us as we walk this path and be with those that are watching and listening and be a guide to them as well and help us to be a light to in this world. And we just thank you and praise you. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. So we thank you for joining us. We hope you stick with this Bible study with us. If you choose not to, please um, find another Bible study or at very least dive into the Bible on your own every day because consistent Bible study does bring fulfillment to your day and we can promise you it will change your life. So tomorrow is Friday, July 14th. We'll be doing connections, so it'll be a little bit of review of all the verses we read this week and finding what brings them together. Although I think we've it's already stood <laughs> out, but we'll 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 have some discussion for that. That's that's for sure. And we look forward to hearing to what you have to say about that. So we hope you have a blessed day from Abundant Life Homestead and we will see you tomorrow.